Moses was able to say no to good things. Moses was able to reject good things. Moses, Moses was able to say no to the blessing, to the blessing that he was receiving from the house of uh, Pharaoh. He was able to receive an inheritance. He was able to refuse that inheritance to become the heir, uh, the heir apparent, apparent of uh, Egypt. He was able to say no to the blessing of possibly becoming the next Pharaoh. He was able to say no to all the goodies and the good life that are coming from, from Egypt, that are coming from Egypt. So this was somebody who didn't know Jesus so much like we are. That like like I mean like we do because there was no Jesus that time. This was somebody that was just a young lad, a young man growing up, and he was able to say no to strong urge of blessing. Can you imagine what kind of church we have today? Can you imagine if you know we, it has been uh, Christians today? I mean, in the in the last administration in Nigerian government of uh, Jonathan. You know, are Christians were well, many, many of the people who are who looted the country are Christians. Many of the people who looted the country are Christians. And why were they looting the country? Because the churches have not preached on the faith to say no, the faith to reject, the faith to really resist the the good life. If that good life is in conflict with the with the with the with the will of God, if that uh, if those goodies are in conflict with the will of God. So that is the kind of, that takes faith. That takes faith as well. So it is faith. It takes faith to be able to say no and to be able to reject what, whatever uh, you are being offered, whatever you are being offered. And that's why many people cannot reject bribes. And that's why many people cannot reject corruption because you cannot, they don't have faith enough to say no. They cannot reject and refuse the, the, the goodies of Pharaoh, the goodies of Pharaoh. 